Hello guys, welcome back to Azudo. So today we can check how we can edit or how we can rename the existing fields without losing the data. So here you can see one module that is sale underscore extension. I have added one field in the sale order by inheriting the sale order. The field technical name is order underscore RF2. So if I want to change this field, but in our database there is some data, so I don't want to lose that data. So how we can change this without losing the data? So if you go to the sale order, we can see that field order underscore RF2. So this have some data in the in this sale order. And if I go to next sale order, yes, this have data and next yes so we have already uh, data are saved in that field so i'm going back to my code so how we can do that so in udo already we have some methods for that we just need to use that so first what we have to do we have to check the field is existing in the db or not for that we can just use if you go to Udo, Udo tools and uh, SQL.py, here we have some methods. We can check which method we can use. So here you can see a function that is column exist. So here you can see return whether the given column exists. So first we have to use that. So before that where we will use that we can check in your module you have to create a new folder upgrades and inside that upgrade we have to create another folder and that folder has some speciality like if you go to the manifest you have to see you have to know what is the current version of your module so if it's 17.0.1.0.3 uh, so I am creating a new folder which will be 70.0.1.0.4 so I am telling like if the version if the manifest version is 0.4 means the next upgrade I want to execute something so inside this I have to create a python file which will be pre migrate So inside this pre-migrate, we have to use this column access function. And uh, from Udo dot tools dot SQL import, we have to import column access to check whether the column is available or exist or not then one more function we have to check if the column is exist we have to rename that column so to rename that column we have some other function rename column so I am importing both functions and I am creating a new function this is the uh, inbuilt function we have to use and I am passing this parameters so if you check this function you can see in Udo we have used many places for the same thing like you can see the file name is also post migrate or pre migrate like that so here I want to check if column exists we have to pass some parameters like first one is CR cursor and the second one will be we have to pass model which model we have to check that is sale order and next is our field name so here our field name will be order RAF2 so I am putting this so if it exists which means 
I am checking order uh, underscore ref2 is exist in the sale order table or not. If it exists, what we have to do? We have to rename that. For that, we can use the rename column. So inside the rename, we have to pass some parameters like as a next is the model name, sale order. Then the old field, which will be order ref2. And uh, what what is our new field name that we have to put? That will be order ref. So it's done. So in our sale order, now we can change the field name. Just I'm changing, I'm removing this too. And in the view also, I'm removing too. So what we have done, we have changed the field name in sale order and we have created a pre-migration script inside that we have defined a migrate function and first we have checked the column is exist or not if it exists rename the column that's it then what we have to do we have to change the manifest currently it is 3 and i am changing to 4 and uh, i am migrating this so i am directly migrating from the uh, sorry, I'm upgrading from the Python. Yes, modules loaded, so it's done. We can check in the sale loader. I'm refreshing. If I open, you can see order reference is still there. We can check the field name. Now, if you see the field name is changed, but the data is still there. So if I go to next record, there also the data is there but the field technical name is changed so this is the way to change any field like if you put some field by mistake uh, by mistake if you put some spelling mistake or something else or a client want another field like if if there is any case like that then you can use this so thank you